War Thunder's new Apex Predators update has just been released, and of course there's a lot of shiny new toys to fly and drive. But let's go over some of the changes and additions that you might have missed. When viewed on the runway and in the hangar, the MiG-29's air intakes are covered by automatic doors which open during takeoff. These intake doors are used to keep out harmful debris and allow the MiG-29 to take off from unprepared runways in real life. Speaking of the MiG-29, it has some new bomb icons, and I must say, they look pretty snazzy. Hopefully they'll come to some more planes in the future too. There's also a refreshed visual model and textures for the German Ferdinand tank destroyer, which is really nice to see. Additionally for Germany is some new icons to help more accurately distinguish vehicles within the tech tree, which includes icons to differentiate between East German and Federal Republic of Germany vehicles. You've probably already heard about drop tanks for aircraft, but what about some of their weird details? Fuel will only drain from your internal tanks while you're flying inverted, and while flying normally the fuel from the drop tank will rapidly flow into your internal tank. Is this realistic? If you know anything about it, please leave a comment below. Otherwise, depending on when you're watching this, Gaijin may have changed some things, so uh, your mileage may vary. The tank also clips through the ground when you drop it. Eh, oh well. Speaking of changes that are already well known, we have runway lights. Since we really don't get that many night maps in Air RB, here's some examples of how they look at different times of day. Aircraft carrier models in air and naval battles have been redone as well. The new versions have a lot more detail. And while we're on the topic of naval battles and graphics improvements, destroyers have received procedurally generated camos. This might seem like a small change, but it's actually a huge step forward in terms of increasing customization options for naval. And continuing with graphics, the visual damage model of planes will now be generated dynamically based on where exactly you've been hit. Now the size of the hole in your left wing will actually depend on the caliber of the projectile instead of being pre-generated. Although it seems like Gaijin may have broken something for ground vehicles when implementing this change. At least if these Reddit posts are anything to go by. You win some, you lose some. Machine guns and low caliber cannon rounds have received some new stat card animations. They're very different from the previous animation style, which is kind of strange, but oh well. Finally, wheeled vehicles rolling friction coefficient has been significantly reduced, and they can now get up to some insane speeds on snow and sand. Radar lead indicators have been in arcade for a while, but the feature has now been expanded to many other planes, but only ones with a radar rangefinder. The new Italian AA truck has steel glass. Uh, it's probably a bug, but we'll just pretend that it's transpari steel from Star Wars. The train tracks on Predesh now feature an actively moving train. Unfortunately, it looks like the engineers decided to skimp on the polygon budget for the tracks. <laughs> Not a very smooth ride. Many existing high rank jets have received all aspect missiles. In particular, I highly recommend revisiting the F4EJ Kai. The American F4J also is worth revisiting if you happen to have it, as it now has an HMD for its AIM-9Gs. The F16A ADF has a camera you can access in the center screen in the cockpit, but it's not really that useful since the ADF isn't a CAS aircraft. And speaking of the F16, there is a bit of a typo on the canopy ejection warning label. Seems like the model or texture maker forgot how to spell for a second. And also, there's now 10 new female pilot profile icons. However, they cost 1,000 golden eagles apiece. And that's all for this video. This is actually a new series that I'm testing out, so please leave some feedback below and tell me what you think of it. If you guys like it, then this may end up replacing the changes in update whatever it's called series in the future. And credit where credit is due, I was inspired to make this video after watching this BeamNG video.